Hello everyone, this is exercise number 13a um, and in this one we will concentrate on projecting data in ArcMap. So as you can see, um, each of these data or each of um, shapefiles normally has something like um, you know, coordinate system. So in the shapefile properties you can easily see that this has a name GCS North American 1983 uh, you will see a spheroid and also datum, prime meridian, and the angular unit is degree, which is different maybe from projected systems like the WGS UTM system or projection, which is defined on, on meters. And um, yeah, so this is something like like a sh like a projection of a feature, and by using this and yeah click and drag it here to the project uh, 13a you can see that this projection has some uh, difficulties maybe as you can see the proportion from Alaska um, compared to uh, Texas isn't correct so as you may all know the Mercato system which is another possible projection system uh, which is um, yeah, which represents uh, degrees correctly, but not the sizes of the object. Um, this is, um, yeah, it preserves the shape, or, but it distorts, a, distorts the area. It is written in the book on page 342. So same as he, same here, um, the area is way too big for uh, Alaska and Montana located over here. Um, is, uh, seems to be as big as Texas. In fact, Texas is half or double as, as large as Montana. So we will use another system here um, and we will do that on the fly. That means you won't touch the projection system of the feature file or the, the, sh the shape file, but you will distort um, the data view. So you will assume that the data uh, has another projection and so it's or it's um, the new projection or new representation on the screen is calculated on the fly so it will be recalculated every time you will drag around your your uh, view so how to do that we have created this view here and what what we would like to come up with is a view of uh, population growth on this main window and population grow in Alaska and Hawaii as well on this window so um, first of all let's check here the properties due to the fact that we would like to have a special symbology here state name that we would like to well, what is written down here population growth okay so numerous change Oh, let's give it with quantities and let's put the color ramp not that um, flashy so maybe use this color ramp okay so there have been some growth from especially in Texas and um, I think this is California so um, what we will do is we will right click on lower 48 so this is um, some some kind of working area or something like that so um, this is a group um, this is a base map layer no uh, well this is um, base map not no 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 what is that a data frame yeah it's a data frame sorry for that so um right click and, fr and search for properties and you can find their coordinate system so now the coordinate system is written here to be gcs north american 1983 and we will switch that to a predefined projected system and this projected system is in the in the folder north america
which is located in a folder continental so North America and here we have um, this Albus projector system and we will use use a contain continuous contiguous use a and there the equal area just click on OK and it will, it will be reprojected on the fly. So now we will use the zoom in function to change the visible extent. Oh well, this was a little bit too big. Maybe just drag the whole thing a little bit on to the left. So what we will do now is we will um, activate the Hawaii. We will add some data, also the states, which is located in the chapter 13. So there it is. Click on the data view. Zoom to the extent, I, I think this was Hawaii. So zoom to Hawaii. Back to uh, the layout view. And once again, we will change the coordinate system for that afterwards as well. To Hawaii Albus equal area conic. Right click on it, set properties. Once again, predefined, projected continental North America and there is it Hawaii so we can still zoom in a little bit there we are so this is now Hawaii and once again we need to do that as well for Alaska so there it is Alaska um, actually the size of these features isn't isn't um, informative here in our case because we are just interested in the population growth if you would like to see the change or the population growth as part of or as a ratio to the area that would be a problem problem but we can neglect this so um, we will go now here to properties as well not this one so Alaska save properties and change this once again you can also create or search for um, systems here in the in the pre in available layers well due to the fact that we only have one layer there's only one projected system available so we will search for the system again so now that's that projected continental there it is North America and now we will use Alaska so there we are equal size well that was a little bit too much so that's a good representation change this once again a little bit so now we have both. Uh, we have every area uh, listed here in our map. We have a little legend, legend. Well, the legend isn't that good because it it's not representing our um, it's not representing our color scheme. I'll just zoom into the into the area using the zoom on the layout view. So we are having here percent growth from 1 0 to 10 10 to 20 and 20 to 67 well I don't know where this scales come from you can have a look in the shapefile there's a percent of change available as an attribute so we will um, change that to percent of change and say okay now the color scheme is still incorrect as you can see here this legend isn't um, I think this legend isn't 
done automatically probably yeah this is just a something like a frame and not a legend and how to adjust that so we have to choose um, choose the right color scheme here in that bluish go with three colors now well, this is not too flashy so this one isn't correct either but you will get the information so uh, this is it for the moment thank you very much for watching goodbye